Hi, I hope you're having a great day. My name is Drew James and I'm going to be showing you how to play five Bob Marley songs with only five chords. Now this really couldn't be easier if you're a beginner because there's hardly anything you need to learn really. You've, you've already got the five chords that I can teach you. You need to memorize them, get them off by heart. You might even know some of them already because they're really super easy open chords that um, I'm sure you may already know. Um, and the songs that we're going to be learning are No Woman No Cry, Redemption Song, One Love, Three Little Birds and Time Will Tell. Without further ado, let's learn how to play it and get stuck into these awesome tunes. So before we can learn these songs, we've got to learn the five chords that we're going to need. So I'm going to be showing them to you um, and showing you ways of changing between them as well when we get into the songs themselves. So just so we're on the same uh, playing field here, uh, you've got the guitar has six strings and each string has a name. Uh, and I call them Eddie, A, Dynamite, Good by Eddie. So that's E, A, D, G, B, E. So if I told you, for example, to put your um, index finger on the second fret on the A string, you'd be like, right, okay, Eddie, eight. So you're on the second string down. And second fret, well, his fret number one, his fret number two. Okay, so that's where you'd be pressing. And for the first chord, that's exactly what I want you to do. All right, so index finger on the second fret on the A string. Middle finger is gonna go on the third fret on the thickest Eddie string, like this, okay? And finally, this ring finger, if you can, it'll be wanting to do this if you're a beginner, but just try to push it down so that it goes down onto the third fret on the thinnest string. And uh, that's called a G, and we're gonna need that a lot. And strum all six strings for that one. Let's do the next one, which is a D chord. We're going to take our index finger, put it on the second fret on the uh, G string. We're going to take our middle finger, put it on the second fret on the thinnest string. And we're going to take our ring finger and put it on the third fret on the B string. And we're going to strum the bottom four for that one. Making sure these fingers aren't collapsing like this, or you'll get this. It doesn't sound as tuneful. Okay, C is next. Take the index finger, put it on the first fret on the B string. Take the uh, middle finger, put it on the second fret on the D string. And take the ring finger and put it on the third fret. So a bit of a stretch in this one on the A string. And strum bottom five. E minor, this one's a little bit easy, easier. Leave your middle finger there on the second fret on the D string. And put your index finger on the second fret on the A string and uh, press down nice and hard and strum all six. And the other chord we're gonna need is an A minor. So with the A minor, we're gonna put our index finger down on the first fret on the B string. We're gonna take our middle finger, put it on the second fret on the D string, and our ring finger, put it on the second fret also on the G string, and we strum bottom five for that. So that's the five chords you're gonna need. G, a D, C, E minor, and A minor. Now we can get started on the songs. So we're going to start with No Woman, No Cry. That chord sequence that I just did there will get you through the whole song. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing with the rhythm guitar as well. So with the G, which is first, the rhythm is this. Just stay with the G for now. I'll tell you how many times to change things in just a minute. Okay. So we're going to go one and two and down, 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 down. Okay. So what I'm doing there is with your thumb or plectrum, whatever it is you want to use, we're going to go one and two and three and four and. Now it's important to do what's called accents, louder strums, on the two and the four. Two and three and four. Okay, now, let's, um, now we've got the rhythm. Let's uh, have a look at how we're changing on the chords with that. So we're going to do a G, one and two, then change to D, one for the three and four, and then E minor, one and two, then C, three and four, and then G, one and two, C, D and two and D, three and four and. 
okay so let's put that all together maybe I'll just do a little bit of singing over the top so you just can hear that it does sound like the song so from that G here we go and Okay, so that gets you through the whole tune up to everything's going to be all right. Okay, it's pretty obvious where that comes into the song. And for that, we're going to go G. Everything's going to be all right. E minor. Everything's going to see all D. I'll do that slowly now because it's a little bit different. Okay, so we go G. In C D that, that change is a little bit faster there, right? So we're gonna go E minor for one and two and three and four and on C and D. Okay, it's quite an important part to get right because it, it sounds awesome that bit. Okay, and you do that four times. Um, but for all of the verses, uh, she said I remember when we used to sit in the government yard in Trench Town, it's all just that same order of chords. I'll do it one last time. G D E minor. And uh, so that, that's, that's what we're doing for the verses. And then the chorus, G. D, E minor. It's just the same thing, right? Okay, okay, let's uh, check out uh, One Love or People Get Ready. Now, this one, uh, we've got a different rhythm. So generally with these songs, when we get the rhythm down, we're all good. Now I like to just call this the reggae rhythm. Okay, so um, what we're doing here, and I'll, I'll take you through it slowly, is we're strumming on a down, and then we're taking the palm of my hand here, and we're just putting it on the strings to stop the strings from ringing. So this is without doing that. Doesn't sound as good, does it? So here we go. So I'm stopping it. Yeah, make sure that you, you know, you've got that down, keeping the sound nice and short. It sounds really good with, with these tunes. We'll be using this rhythm again, actually. Uh, so now let's learn it. Now we've got the beat. So we're going to do four Gs for the intro. Four Ds. Two Cs. Two Gs. Two Ds. Now, if you know the tune at all, you can probably hear that the melody fits right over that chord sequence. So let's do that with the melody. So here we go. One love, one heart, C. Let's get to G and D, all right. Do that again, basically. One love, one heart, sing, give thanks and praise to the Lord and I will feel. Then you do the C again. Let's get to G and D and G. So what happens there is saying, we're saying let's get together and feel all right. Um, you're just doing that, that, that chord again. So you're doing uh, four Cs, four Gs, then two Ds, two Gs. You just do that twice, okay? Now I don't know the singing to the verses too well, so you'll just have to uh, follow, my, my, follow my changes with the chords. So let them all pass on their dirty remarks. We do uh, four E minors. Two C's, two G's. Do that again. Four E minus one question. C really like to ask. E 
minor. Is there a place for a C? Hopeless sinner. So it's just same, same progression, right? So four E minors, uh, two Cs, two Gs. Who has all mankind just to save his own beliefs? One love. So you just stay on G. One heart. One let's get together and feel alright. And we're just keeping that order of chords going, keeping that rhythm chugging. And um, that's all you need for this one. Nice and simple. You've got yourself a verse, which is four E minors, two C's and two G's, um, followed by four E minors, uh, the same, sorry, four E minors, two C's, two G's. Then you've got your chorus, which is um, four D's, as I mentioned, four, four G's, sorry, four D's, two C's, two G's, two D's, two G's, okay? And sometimes you just repeat that two C's, two G's, two D's, two G's again. All right, but really, that's your tune. If you've got your rhythm down, then just keep strumming through, enjoying the song. You'll hear when it fits in. Right, so for this redemption song, you know, I know I said it's uh, five chords, but I really want to teach you the intro to this because uh, it sounds great and it's really easy if you're a beginner, so... Right, I botched it up, I made wrong one note, but trust me, I'm qualified to teach it to you. Um, so uh, we'll go um, ring finger on the third fret on the thickest string. Okay, got that. And then open on the A string, then second fret on the A string. So then back to that third fret. So it's. Then second fret on the A string and slide, keep the pressure down on the string, push it hard and go from the second fret to the third fret. Not going, but. So let's do up to there. Sorry, yeah. So that's where we got up to the slide. Then second fret on the D string, then open on the D string. second fret on the A string, so. Then third fret again on the E. Then we go open on the A string, then second fret, then open on the D. And finally, third fret on the A, second fret on the A, then open on the A, and then third fret. Let's see if I can do it all. I'm doing it by ear, all right? So I don't have it written down. I normally write these things down. Um, so that's why I made a little mistake, but let's, let's go for it. So here we go. All right, so that's your intro. Even though it's a this is a chord lesson, I really wanted to teach that to you because I think it's awesome. Okay, uh, we've got a G coming up. All right, so, and this is our rhythm for this. I like to use what I call the chill out rhythm. So we're gonna go down, down, up, miss, up, down, up, down, down, up, miss, up, down, up. Do it slowly. Important to do that miss there, okay? Because that gives uh, the song a sort of feeling of freedom. Right, so let's go through what we're doing for a verses and a chorus, and we can put it all together from there. So we've got, oh gee, yes they eat. Sold C to the G ships. Oh, sorry, A minor. So let's just show you what I was doing there. So G for one pass of the rhythm. E minor for one pass of the rhythm. Then this C to G, I change the rhythm slightly. I go down, down, up on the C. And then G, down, down, up. And then we go to an A minor back into the normal rhythm pass and then we basically do that same progression again G after the E minor C to the G and A minor normal rhythm again nice and easy huh and then 
we forward in this ge generation triumphantly. It's a little different. We go G is normal. In this general E minor. C as normal. And then D. Okay, so we haven't done D yet. So we do D twice. D again. Won't you help to sing? G is normal. C. So that C to D is similar to what we were doing earlier with the uh, G, to, uh, the C to G. So I'll do that again with the rhythm. So C, C, G, C, is D of freedom. See, they were called half bar changes. C down up, D down up, hand. All right, I'll go up to, uh, I'll go up, do that again. Because all I ever had, because another verse okay so I'll do um, the chorus now with just a little bit of singing just to help you place the chords over the top makes it a bit more comfortable for me to teach it as well actually so um, I'll go from the D beforehand triumphantly won't you help to G C is D of G because C So that is all just the same again as what we were doing in the previous verses. I'm not going to go through the whole thing there because it's exactly the same. Just backtrack on the lesson to the beginning. It's the same order of chords. One G, one E minor, um, C with the new C with half, G with a half, C. Anyway, I said I wasn't going to go through it to A minor. Uh, that's all you're going to need. You then do another chorus, exactly the same. The only other bit you might want to learn is this solo. So it goes minor for eight strums, C for four, D for four, E minor for eight strums, C for four, D. And he actually plays it with a bit of palm muting. Release on the D. Palm muting, just bring the palm on the back of the strings. It's optional though. Then we're into another verse. Basically the same as verse two. And um, yeah, we're finishing on a G on this one to, uh, to put the whole song together. I wrote a bit of uh, Three Little Birds, so. Going back to, um, well, only because it's earlier in the lesson, but you may have skipped along to this. Uh, it's called the reggae rhythm. So we're gonna strum it down, then we're gonna stop with the palm of our hands. Now really, low reggae, it's upbeats. But as you're a beginner, I want you to do downbeats on this, all right? So we're gonna strum, and then take this part of our hand and just slap it on the strings to stop them from ringing. Yeah? Cool. So um, let's learn it. So we're gonna, the intro is, um, well, we could do four or eight Gs. Remember, this isn't 100% to the song. Then we've got G, don't worry about a thing. Eight Gs, then C little thing, four C's gonna be all right. G, another G. About a thing. Cause C little thing, it's gonna be alright. Rise up the G, smile with the D, son. Three little G's, pitch by my sister. <laughs> Singing G songs of melodies D and true. Singing, this is my message to you. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so that was C and G there. Hope you don't mind me taking it through you with the melody like that. I, j I just find that it's easier for you to sort of connect up where the chords are in the song. And you can also hear how many there are when it's done like that. Um, so the chorus, 
you've got eight G's and then you've got four C's and then you've got um, 12 G's followed by four C's and then um, followed by four G's at the end. But it's so simple with just that little bit I've taken you through. That is the whole song. You know, nothing changes. There's, there's obviously different lyrics for verse two. Rise up this morning, smile with the rising sun. In fact, Ash is the same lyrics. So uh, easy enough. And I've saved the easiest till last. Time will tell. Now, I don't know this song as well. Um, but I chose it because it's, uh, it's so easy. It's just G and C. Then we do two Gs. We're going to use the reggae rhythm where we're stopping the strings. So we go two Gs, two Cs. Two Gs, and that doesn't stop throughout the whole tune. You'll get through the whole song like that. Perfect if you're a beginner. I'm not going to pretend I know the melody, but I do know this bit. Think you're in heaven, but you're living in hell. Think you're in heaven, but you're living in hell. Time alone, oh time will tell. You think. So on and so forth. Same for the verses, and um, you know all of the verses. You can get away with just that same chord sequence. Once again, you know you've got to understand that this has been made beginner friendly. So if you do play it onto the record, it's not going to sound as good, but. Melody, the, the actual singing notes going over the top of it will fit with the chords, so have fun. Mm -hmm. 